everybody autumn from autumn and then some and okay just ignore this actually this is this is the current week it's actually wednesday i'm filming early i'm super proud of me uh, so i actually filmed on monday and had an amazing plan with me all set out it was fantastic the video got all garbled and i just, i can't use it so i figured i'd try to get this filmed a little early so that i can show you my pp weeks spread for next week all right it's a big hot mess just ignore all of this Okay, so I am using, ignore this, <laughs> I am using these two pages that I picked up from um, Pink Limeade Designs for, this is obviously Ravenclaw because it's the best house. If you're not Ravenclaw, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so I love this kit. This was super cute. My niece and nephew are doing homeschooling and um, I decided I would use this in honor of getting them all set up to do homeschool. And I am basically going to be substitute teacher slash on-call teacher since they're in the next state over. But this is what we're doing, and I figured this would be a really fun kit for this week. So, get rid of that. This thing is super chunky. I might need to start doing a chunk check like um, Caitlin does. Okay, so I'm going to bump this up, first of all. I don't know how high up I can bump it. I'm going to bump it up there. There we go. It's super cute. I love these stickers. Like honestly, even if this was not Ravenclaw, I would love this kit because it's just I love the colors in it. I used to have a uh, it was a LuLaRoe shirt that I got uh, years ago at this point. I absolutely loved it. It was striped and it was um it was like navy blue, like a medium blue. And then I think two shades of gray. And I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorite shirts. But my niece, she fell in love with it and decided it was hers. So that's that's what happened there. So she she's now an honorary Ravenclaw. I think normally she is... I know when she was younger, she like was diehard Gryffindor. But I think actually as she's grown up, she has morphed a bit into Slytherin, if I'm not mistaken. My mom is 100% Hufflepuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if I had to guess, I would think my guy is also Hufflepuff. And he's, he's probably somewhere between Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. My brother, I would say, is probably... He's going to be somewhere between Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. And if you are anything at all like the previously mentioned Caitlin, I apologize because you probably have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. But that's okay. I'm a big fan of the Harry Potter fandom. I think I've seen one or two of the movies and I read the second book. <laughs> so I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but I like the Harry Potter fandom. I like Harry Potter in theory. How about that? Yeah, I'm, I like the overall idea of Harry Potter. Okay, now, so here's the thing. I got these because the deco boxes are teeny tiny and they'll fit really well and still give me plenty of space to write. I've got all these glitter headers, my habit tracker. I'll be using these. But I've got just an absolute stack of things over here that I'm pulling in. So this is from the Luna Lovegood kit from Tilly B Plans and I'm using the weekly box for dinners. I've got Craft Penguin Planner date dots. I've got icons from Prancing Doxy. I've got in case I want to pull in some silver foil. These are from B&R Paper Crafts. I've got the hearts, the flags, the bows, and a couple icons here that I can pull in that are still blue. And then I have this. This was a printable kit from uh, Planet Pixico. This was from It's Fall, y'all. I think these are also from It's Fall, y'all, but these might have been from Lake House. One or the other. I don't remember which. But I thought these would actually fit really well with the blue. And then this color here, I thought worked really well with, like, the envelope colors. So I might pull these in for checklists. I haven't decided yet. But I've got these off to the side in case I need them. So, okay, let me see. What do I want to do here? So we've got two this color, so I'll put one up and down. Uh, 
two of these. Okay, so... Alright, <clears throat> I'm just going to grab these and start sticking them down here. Putting that one on Sunday. Plaid is, like, one of my favorite things on this planet. I love plaid. So this box right here is just making me all of the happy. All of it, I say. All right. I'm putting a little too much thought into which sticker goes where, and I'm okay with that. I'm trying to line that up. It's hard because the left side is just so chunky. I had done a plan with me weeks ago and I think it was one of the ones that got messed up and I didn't end up posting it but I was showcasing stickers from BNR Papercraft and I absolutely loved her stickers because they are extremely thin and it was so nice to put them down and the paper itself didn't feel like it was chunked up at all it was so so nice so if you have a chunky planner like I do highly recommend them they are awesome. Do I want this one down here or do I want the other one? No, I want the other one. Okay. So what just happened is I decided between these two blues, which one I was going to put down there, this one is a little too geometric like this one, so I want these on different lines. So that's that was that thought process there, in case you care at all. There we go. Adorbs. All right, so... I want this one on the other page. I want this one up here. I think I want this one up here. I just realized I might not have space to put that there. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Alright, everybody's going back home. I'm going to do my sidebar real quick. So I'm going to pull in my habit tracker. And then my Tilly B Plans meal tracker. And I'll put the habit tracker at the bottom. Ooh, that's the same pattern. I might like something in between. Okay, I'm just going to spin everything all around. Do I move space? Alright, I'm going to pull in a header. Oh, no. I've got all these glitter headers. I'm going to pull in a glitter header. I'm going to try to line it up so that it's even with the date covers. And I just had a cat jump onto my lap. My cats have been nowhere to be seen for the last three hours. Haven't seen them. Haven't heard anything from them. I sit down here and pigeon surfaces. Hello, pigeon. Hello. Would you mind terribly not getting in the way? Pigeon. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. I've been reorganizing my office for like the last three days and Pigeon has been instrumental in helping and by that I mean she sits up on the desk and gets in the way and every now and then demands pets so yes absolutely instrumental she's my good girl All right, I'm not putting this one down hard in case can I put one of those in there um, ah, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this one in and just overlap the habit tracker with this just a little bit. That way I still have this color on this side. Okay, yeah, I absolutely love that. That is the cutest thing ever. Okay, so now, do I want to pull this one in anyway? I think I do. Alright, I'm going to pull this one in. Loving this one. Okay, 
now. Hmm. I love the letter, but I really like it that way. Right. Oh, shoot, but then we've got letter on top of letter. That's not going to work. All right, I've just thrown everything off. Because if I put this one here, then it's white on top of white, and that won't work. So this one has to go here. Which means I can't put this one here, because then it'll be right on top of that. I can't put it there, because it'll be there. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm putting it here anyway. Rules be damned. Yes, I'm disregarding the own the rules I put into place. Just go with it; it'll be fine. Okay, now do I want to do glitter headers? I think I want to do glitter headers. I think I'm gonna alternate the silver and the blue. I love how I got two sheets of stickers and there's still going to be a ton of these left over when I'm done. It's so cute. Absolutely loving this. Alright. Move this one here. That is so amazingly crooked. The pigeon sitting right here next to me could not care less. I think she likes it when I plan though, because that means I'm actually sitting down long enough that she can sit on me or climb up my back or sit on my planner, depending on the day. There we go. All right. So so, loving those. I think I'm going to pull these in. Now, these are not cut because this was um, this was from a printable kit. And, like I said, hold on, I can't cut and speak at the same time, apparently. This was from Planner Pixie Co. And I can't speak. Sorry. Okay. Focus. Here we are. I don't have a cutting machine, I don't have a Cricut or anything like that, so I just cut these by hand. And this set happens to be on sticker paper, so that makes life a little easier. And there we go. I think I'm just going to cut these in half and use three hearts per day. And I'm just going to do this color with it. I think it'll help pull in that like, beigey color. And I think also what I'm going to do is pull in some of these that are lighter in color that I can actually write on. And use those as little event stickers down here too. I'm gonna cut these in three. Pigeons taking interest. Pigeon, my love, I don't want to cut your whiskers. Thank you. And the violent shaking on the table is pigeon cleaning her feet. Because right now, apparently, is the best time for that. last one. I love these ombre part checks because they've got very solid lines so it makes it easy to tell where they where to cut. I can't speak. Bless you pigeon. Pigeon. Okay no we're not having an earthquake. I apologize for the violent shaking. Pigeon however just does not care. 
Oh, I should probably figure out where these are going. All right, so that one. <laughs> There's cat hair all over my planner now. I'm pigeon scratching like a maniac because that's what she does. All right. Okay, I'm done. Um, you know, I think I do. I cut these too small. Ugh. I can't believe I did that. Alright, I'm just going to try to more or less center them. And I actually might not have cut these small. This might have been the set that I printed out with my printer settings on the wrong scale. I think that's actually what happened. I am concentrating intensely, trying to get the paper backing off of this sticker. I can see it, I just can't get to it. There we go. There. Much better. This is turning out so cute. I want a darker one down here. Let's wait. Okay, I think that's the pattern I'm going in. All right, let's get this one. Okay, so my goal here is to keep this to be a relatively short plan with me. I think I'm at about 18 minutes or so now. <clears throat> I also happen to be losing my voice. It's super fun. But <clears throat> excuse me, I am so sorry. I'm going to try to keep this one short, short ish, because I think it is the longer videos that are giving me trouble with my camera. We will see. One of these days I'm going to have all my filming issues sorted. One of these days. There we go. And... I don't think this is really supposed to be this complicated. I'm just making it more complicated than it needs to be. Two more and we are done with checklists. The, the current week that we are in, I am using a Tilly B Plans kit and it has four, uh, four, are they hearts? Yeah, four heart checklists. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can always fill it, but sometimes I have to put something just extra in there that I wouldn't normally have tracked in my planner. The three is always, always useful. The four sometimes is a little, a little superfluous. But on the days that I need four, it's actually quite helpful. It'd probably be easier if I didn't plan ahead. Actually plan the day of, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. All right, let's see what we got here. I feel like that sticker's crooked. I don't know that it is, but I feel like it's crooked. All right, let's see. So I'm going to put... So Thursday is trash day. I have room for two. I might have room for two. I'm going to see if I've got room for two. I do, in fact. I'm going to pull this one down just a little bit. I used a cat kit from Pink Limeade Designs a couple weeks ago, and it was the cutest thing ever. 
absolutely loved it. I am thinking about buying possibly two more copies of that kit because I loved it so much. One so I can hoard and one so I can use it again. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put this one here. So this one's for trash day. I have no idea what that one's for. This one is also for trash day. And I might put another little bit of just decorative box here. Because I tend to take Sundays pretty easy. Probably be better if you could see that, huh? Sorry, Pigeon. I just bumped a cat. Can you see her right here? That's a Pigeon. She hasn't gone away. Fear not. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what all we've got going. Um, I think I want to pull in some of these. So I'm going to do a bow on Saturday. Saturday's probably going to be a work day at the museum. This one down here. In case we decide to go and do dinner as a group, which we might. And then Friday, we have been going to our local brewery on Friday to try to support them. They just opened up their indoor, um, like their kitchen and stuff, and it's fantastic, but we want to support them as much as possible, because we know how hard it is these days, in particular, um, bars and restaurants and stuff locally have gotten hit really hard with the shutdowns and such. All right, so we'll do those two. Monday, no idea what's going on, but I'm gonna put a bow. I'm gonna do flag on Wednesday. Again, no idea what's going on there. That's fine. We'll figure it out. And then, oh, um, actually, you know what? I forgot. I did want to pull in some of these. I'm going to do, trying to do two PR posts a week for Prince and Doxy. I think my next order is going to be coming in, I think it's at the end of this week, so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to put this one here. I'll do one on Tuesday. And one on Thursday. This one here. I am so not coordinated with my right hand. There. Okay. So PR post, PR post. No clue what that's about. Also no clue what that's about. This will be Trash Night. Um, that'll be Voodoo. Possibly that one of the volunteers that works at the museum is coming out. That'll be Work Day at the museum. Followed by probably Voodoo again. And Trash Day. So that is pretty much my week. I'm really excited about how cute this turned out. I'm just going to look at these real quick and see if there's anything else I need to mark. Um, let's see. Time carve shoe. Okay. I actually am going to use the shoe because one of the things I've been trying to do is get in a 30 minute walk every day. And I will put that in my tracker. All right. I. Safe to say, I'm in love with this. This makes me so happy. Wait, wait, wait. I just remembered. I didn't do my date dots. And oh. date dots happen to be the thing that the cat flung off my desk when she flicked her tail. Wait, <laughs> my brain just stopped. What month are we currently in? We're in August, right? Yes, this is August. 
So this will be September. So hold on. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, 31. <laughs> that was quite a panic. Do that. We'll put these down. And let's see, the following week after this is going to be Labor Day. Hi, Pigeon. Do you need pets? Oh, this is a good pigeon. Yes, this is a good pigeon. What do you think, Pigeon? Are you Ravenclaw? I don't know which house you'd be in. You're a little spunky. I don't know. But you're also quite brave. I don't know. You might be Gryffindor. That number is so crooked. Hey! What the hell, Pigeon? <laughs> Apparently she liked the crooked number. Pigeon used to be really spunky. Like, she would fight anybody and everything. She was... We'll say she was rowdy. She was quite rowdy when we found her. She was a street cat. We took her in. And it turned out she was pregnant. And we ended up with a whole bunch of kittens. And that was when we found out that I should not be allowed to name cats. Because I named... The entire batch of kittens after cheeses. My guy did not approve at all. But I named them after cheeses and they are super cute. And Pigeon's getting spunky. Okay, we're going to finish this now before there's bloodshed. Take care, guys.